Hello, my name is Vaughny, and this is my co-host, Bob. Release me from this pain. And me and Bob like to stream over at twitch.tv for us Vaughny. Every day I wake up contemplating my existence, wondering what mistake lead my down this road to being here taking your abuse. You are a sad little man. Also, I have to shit really bad. I need a name for these OBS Twitch tutorials. Let's go with OBS Twitch Tips. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna call this segment, OBS Twitch Tips. And in today's OBS Twitch Tips, I'm gonna show you how to mute your music, not your voice or gameplay, just your music in Twitch VODs so you can avoid DMCA takedowns. To show you what I mean, I'm gonna pull up my VODs page on my Twitch channel. So here we are on my VODs page. Uh, I can guarantee you now, each one of these live had music playing in the background, but if I click one of these videos, We've hit as you can see CS in this now. vod, oh God. four CS down, no music whatsoever, and live this had music playing. So let's get straight into the tutorial. I'm going to show you how to set this up step by step, so you can do this on your Twitch channel. So as I'm recording this, DMCA strikes seem to only happen on VODs. I haven't personally been affected by live DMCA takedowns. What I mean by live is, is when you're live, Twitch will take down your stream while you're live. And I know that happens across on Facebook. Um, I don't know if it happens across on YouTube, but as of now, I have never been taken down for this. Whether that changes in the future, I do not know. But all of my VODs are muted from all audio and I have had no strikes on my channel at all. I've been running this method for months without any problem. But like I said, it might change in the future, so just be wary of that. So let's start off by downloading a virtual audio cable. I'll have a link in the description below so you can download one of these. So what you're gonna do is just go to this website, click download, download it. But once you downloaded it, unpack it, you'll see a folder like this. You wanna go to VB cable setup time 64, run as administrator, get that installed, restart your PC, then come back. I've already installed this, so I'm not gonna run through that step with you. Once you've restarted your PC and your back, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna first tie this audio cable to your music player, whether that be a web browser, whether that be a Spotify app, an iTunes app, you can do this for any kind of music player at all. So personally, I have YouTube music that plays through a browser, uh, and I use Oprah browser, so if I go to youtube.com, so say you have some music on in the background here, playing through a web browser. I suggest you play it first, so you got the mu music running in the background, as you can hear just here. One thing that will happen once you've installed this audio cable, your default sound devices will change. So we go here, go to open sound settings. Just make sure you set your audio defaults back to how they were. My, I use voice meter, but you might use something like, uh, you know, speakers. Maybe you've got a mixer you plug into. Just make sure you go back to your default on both your output and your input. So once that's done and you've got your default in your output and input, start the music playing of the background music you want to play in your stream. So click play here, go over to the sound icon, right click, click open sound settings. Again, just making sure you guys know. Scroll all the way down to app volume device preferences. Click here. And if you're playing something, you should see either your browser, maybe Spotify comes up here, any program you use, iTunes. And what you want to do, you want to click this, click down here and click cable input VB audio virtual cable. Boom. Now what that does is it sets whatever you're running your music through, through a cable. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab that cable and we're going to plug it into OBS. So minimize this, make sure you're, I'm gonna just make sure this is playing in the background as you can hear. I'm gonna open up OBS. Now, some of you watching this tutorial might already have your um, your scenes and sources set up and things like that, but I'm just gonna run through the sound settings that you need to do to get this working. Go over to settings down here, and we go over to audio. So I'm gonna pick my desktop audio. I'm gonna go for voice meter input. Yours might be different. Yours might be speakers. Yours might be a mixer. Just make sure you're choosing your input. So once you've got your desktop audio here, then we're gonna go to mic auxiliary audio, the third one down. And we're gonna change this to cable output VB audio virtual cable. Remember, like I said earlier, we're grabbing that cable and pulling it into OBS this is essentially what we're doing. So click that, click apply. Okay, now don't worry if you can't hear the music right now. I'm gonna show you a little bit later how to output the music and hear it at the same time. But we'll get to that a little bit later. So as you can see, now we have two different bits of audio. You can see the music is playing through this second one that we set up for the mic. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna right click the one that we set up here, 
click rename and I'm gonna call this music. So now I know which one is my music and which one is my desktop audio. Remember, this one's coming through the virtual audio cable, this music channel here. So once we have confirmed we've got music running through here, we can set the volume of the music here as well. So these are swapped around, I don't know why. Make sure you have music playing and you can adjust the volume here as needed. So you got your desktop audio and your music. Go back into settings. We'll go to output now and you will see this Twitch VOD track list here. If you don't see this, it means you are not logged into Twitch. So what you wanna be doing is going into stream, uh, logging through Twitch on your account as you normally would. As soon as you logged in on this stream tab here, you go to output, you should see Twitch VOD track. This new little setting here. And this is the magic button. We're gonna tick this and you can set this to whatever you want, as long as it's different to the audio track. So you can't set them on the same track. Imagine you have to have two different tracks they both can't be on one or two etc like that they need to be on different tracks so what i do is i have my audio track on one and my twitch vod track on two make sure that's ticked click two click apply click ok so once you've done that and the music's still playing here and you've got your desktop audio and your microphone etc on another track right click anywhere in the gray area just below here advanced audio properties here i'm just going to pull this out so you can see my desktop audio and you have my music currently my music is going through all channels now remember we had the twitch vod track on two so you don't want it to be on two. So you untick that and just go ahead and untick the rest just for good measure. You can leave the others as they were because remember you got Twitch VOD track on two. So your desktop audio is coming through two and one, which is your main audio coming through one. So again, with your music channel, you don't want it on number two because you don't want it to appear on the Twitch VOD. So make sure two is unticked and just for good measure, untick the rest of them. Now you can do this for other things. Maybe you don't want your voice in the VOD. Maybe you have friends who talk to you. You don't want your friend's voice in the VOD. This all could be done using the same method and audio cables, pretty much as shown here. It's a great tool that OBS added. I can't remember how long ago now that avoids DMCA strikes. So one of the last things you want to be doing in these advanced audio properties is turning this audio monitoring on the music track to monitor and output. So that way, you can monitor the sound and also output it to your stream. So like I said earlier, where you couldn't hear the audio, now you can, and now you're monitoring it, and now you're outputting it to your stream. But obviously, not through Twitch VOD, because 2 is unticked. And there you have it. You have your music on a separate channel going through a separate track to Twitch that isn't now being recorded on your VODs and clips. What I suggest you do is, is you go live on Twitch, ramp the music up, bop around to it, have a little bit of a talk, create a clip of that and watch the clip back and you will have no music. It's just going to be you talking and any audio you've decided not to run through track two, the Twitch track. That was a lovely, quick and easy, useful tutorial that you can use that I use in my, in my Twitch channel over at twitch.tv for slash Vaughny. If you like the content on here, I put out weekly videos. Consider subscribing, consider hitting the like button. I'd appreciate that. Head over to twitch.tv. If you have any questions for me, you want to chat, you want to talk, watch me get mad at League and sometimes take it out on Bob here. I've been Vaughny. Thank you very much for listening to this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one. Still need to figure out a sign off. Until next time. Bye. I don't know what... To, I don't... I have no idea. You sit in a room alone and you just talk to a camera and you just get weird. Okay, fine. I'm signing off now. Bye. Go away. Bye. 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 Bye.